Well, there it is. Hello, welcome once again to another Warcraft Free Reforged video. This is Witty here from Witty Warcraft. Thank you so much for stopping in and saying hi. As ever, I've appreciated all of your comments and please continue to write those down and let me know what's going on because I just had a quick look at these models and I got really excited. Like, I, I, my jaw almost hit my... It almost hit the ground. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at the Horde character models. We've got Thrall, Vol'jin, Rexar, and more. Maybe one's called Grom. I don't know. Let's have a look, shall we? So let's start off with Cairn Bloodhoof. Now, now, this is a model I really wasn't that much of a fan of on first iteration. However, I have started to get a little bit more behind it. It's almost like I've been... Worn down, but that sounds like such a negative thing to say. It's not so much worn down, it's just getting a bit more used to it. He really represents the strength. I prefer this model to the uh, Tauren Chieftain model that we saw previously. He definitely has a little bit more flair and difference. I think he's even got his specific weapon. I can't remember the name of it, but it's uh, he used it, I think, in the battle between himself and Garrosh Hellscream. I might be wrong there. Feel free to correct me. If, you, if I'm wrong about anything, feel free to correct me in the comment section. I love reading it, so thank you very much. He has this real haggard look to him, which he should do because he's, he's old and warm, but he's still strong, and I want that to be portrayed. And the thickness and the wideness of his shoulders and the way his arms are stretching out a bit here does indicate that he is still up for a fight. I wish his face didn't quite look so much like a grizzly bear, though. It does almost look like <laughs> he's he's more animalistic than... Uh, I know I know that they're, they're cows and stuff like that. They're big bulls, but... Big bulls, lol. Okay, let's move past that one. So, anyway, yeah. He's got, like, lots of decorations and the horns. He's got an orange vibe, so these are orange team colors. Again, you could have a bit more flair with the team colors. Like, maybe the totems could have, like, an orange strong orange indicator color around them because from the back you can't tell that this has much of a color at all apart from the hero glow but i don't hate it i'm not the biggest love of this model i think it actually looks really nice though to be quite frank with you like very heavily detailed the fur the hair everything it's it's very it's very uh very nice but i just want the face to look a bit more like the old can like uh, that old rough and ready fighter yes he does look rough and ready but he doesn't quite look like can okay it's hard to describe he just needs to look more like can now we've got chen chen stormstar and i'm very pleased at seeing this model after seeing the models that we saw yesterday if you haven't seen that then check out my <laughs> channel i mean you're already watching but just check out my previous videos i covered over the pandar and brewmaster models it went over like the storm earth fire and potentially a chen or at least a shirtless panda oh my so here we have this like greenish bamboo stick he's got like his pots and pans off the edge he's got his shield on the back he's got this looks so much like the heroes of the storm model and i'm really happy with that because i actually like how a lot of the heroes of the storm models look whether you love or hate it I do like them because I feel like they're proper iterations of the original Warcraft 3, just amped up. And that's what I want to see more of. He does look like Chen. Yes, his face looks a little bit more World of Warcrafty. It's not quite as rotound and cartoony as the original Chen. I will definitely grant you that because I know that's going to be some of the comments coming in. But I can live with this. I think he still looks good. And he does look like he's oomphing personality and attitude the beads around it he looks like he's ready for a fight his face looks fierce we could go with a more comical look but that's obviously not the angle blizzard have gone they stated it in the last blizzcon they want to go more realistic so we've got to just try to get on board at least as best as possible or at least see the as positive aspects of it or try to because that will help you digest the game much better in the future so yes he's not a stupidly round face that looks like a big old cuddly bear but he does still look like chen how he would look so i'm still appreciating this more realistic aspect of him and worst case scenario you can always just revert the graphics back now we got drek far now this is really fascinating because drek far i know him actually probably more from ultric valley in world of warcraft the original like he was the boss for the orcs and he's typically an old shaman he tutored thrall he's blind 
you know, he he wasn't blind originally, I don't think, but he became blind. I actually, I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but yeah, he's part of the old horde as well as integrated into the new horde. And look at the is that a skull on the <laughs> the wolf's head? Like, that's so macabre, but at the same time, it looks so tribalistic that I actually like this. Definitely a really cool looking model. Like I play a lot of custom games, as you guys might know if you've watched the channel, and. Uh, I would love to play as this model, as a character in a hero defense, or a hero survival or something like that. He looks good. I like it. Oh, this is it! Oh, God! Freaking hell, would you look at this guy. That is a Gromash Hellscream, what a beast! Now, he does look a lot more like the World of Warcraft kind of Gromash Hellscream, because a lot of people might or think of him as more of a kind of thinner model and even in the books he's kind of more described as lean so to speak as big brawny and muscular but damn does he freaking look good here i love the armor on this guy the shoulder that massive sort of fist plate on the side and he's got like this kind of tree trunk on his left arm look at the face there's so much personality and attitude i need to look in, in this one there's so much attitude and personality in his face, the detail. This is something I was worried about in the previous models. I wasn't seeing quite so much personality in their faces. They almost looked a bit generic or bland. He looks incredible. Look, even the difference in the feet. He's got like a steel cap and then like there's claws at the end of this. Of course, his famous weapon. It's just insane. The skull on the back of it. Uh, has it even got like little holes in it? I don't know if it's got like little holes because that's what makes the sort of like the the wailing noise when he swings it around. He's famous for his name. Look, he's got his uh Ah oh, it I'm really happy with that one. Very happy with that one. Let's come back. And then there's a fell version of him. So let's take a little look at this. A little look at this. Now this I think could be improved. Although, look, he has got differences. The feet look more sort of spiky. Obviously, his hands look very sort of, well, corrupted. He looks more demonic. So, I assume this is the way they're going to go. But I think what he looks like is he looks more like a Maghar orc. Apart from the, um, obviously, the, the, the arm spikes. I feel like they just kind of recolored the skin and spray tanned him. I'd prefer he looked a bit more red. But, obviously, early iteration, who knows, perhaps this is what we have, perhaps this isn't, but that's my initial impression. Gul'dan, one of my favourite characters of all time. I mean, these models are so damn good, I'm going to have to scroll and zoom in on all of them. He is very bare, though, on the legs. He's almost showing a bit too much there. Put on some pants! Blimey, Gul'dan. I love the armour, though, on the top, but I think this could be better. That, that sounds like I'm ungrateful. Like, they've got the right idea. The skulls and these giant spikes. That ram head. That's very Doom-esque. Like, his staff. He's got this grizzled look. His draping gown. Like, his cape. The chains. The back part looks good. You know what? It is really good. It's just, I don't know what's going on down here. Maybe he needs some sort of cover over here. Just to help him out and not look quite so homeless otherwise really good potential there rexar oh, i keep saying that they're all my favorites there's another one of my favorites he actually looks a lot more lean than i expected him to look i thought he would look even wider because he's basically half orc half ogre so i love the face detail because that is what rexar basically looks like face wise he looks a bit more well, it's not the worst thing that he's animalistic. He definitely looks a bit more, um, yeah, like a bear or something like that, which is obviously what they're trying to go for with this bear rug above him. I like the weapons. I like the thickness. I just want him to be a bit wider in a strange way because he was always ridiculously built, but I think his muscles could be bigger. That sounds strange, but I always hearkened him as like the overly buff type character from the neutral taverns that you could pick up. So I feel like he could be even bigger, to be quite frank with you. But still very nice. Rokan. Okay, so this is... Ah, 
Yes. So this is much more similar to um, the Shadowhunter model that people have been having a little bit of an issue with because he almost comes across as too built. I've seen some comments and references to this being more like a demon hunter than an actual shadow hunter. Life and lean and swift is what he needs to be rather than big and bulky. So you can see his weapon and his armor set just more bare but at the same time still decorative which it was in the original if you look at his armor set in the original it's still decorative so this is very nice he looks like an elephant with these tusks coming out and that mask going down i love this model look at this look at the side shoulder plate these models are, i mean i'm really liking these horde ones these are my favorite ones so far just this kind of quirky personality that i'm getting the vibe, even just from the shoulder plate, it looks like it's got a funny look to it. Really, really cool. Samaru. Oh, now this is the Blade Master that you guys wanted. Not the overly geared up Blade Master. However, I didn't have too much of an issue. People were like, oh, I'm surprised you didn't have more of an issue. This Blade Master, yes, I prefer. I prefer, like I've stated before, I prefer everything that is as close to the original as possible. But I'm okay for new adaptions because it just means more models, right? It means more skins, more fun character models to use in potentially melee, but particularly custom games. So it just gives more variety rather than just having, every, you know, like four people pick Blade Master out of eight, for example, in a custom game. They all look the same. Whereas in this case, you could have four people picking Blade Master, but they could have slightly different iterations of it, which would give it so much more personality. He looks fantastic. He still looks like he's got youth about him. He's old, he's grizzled, he's a veteran, but this vibrant hair, you know, he still looks bulky and strong, very tight, taut. So he looks like he can definitely still fight. And, oh, look at the sword. Look at the sword. The curvature. This is so good. By the way, that looks very similar to the uh, panda sword so you know i showed the uh the fire panda models and it had like those silvery bits which means that it isn't quite finished being textured it looks like the panda should probably use a very similar sword except it's probably a bit more curved i think and less length but this blade master oh he's going to be critting for days with that weapon <laughs> he just look he just looks so good I love the feet as well. I've always really loved those. I don't know how practical those things are, but I've loved them from what I've seen them in in the culture. For all. Okay, so this is it now. We're going to get some real controversy. I know you guys aren't going to like this. I'm looking at this right now, and I'm just thinking you guys are not going to like this. He does look good in the armor. The armor is Doomhammer's armor. This is how he should look. The face looks like For all. But at the same time, doesn't. Kind of hard to describe. He's got the same sort of hairstyle. The fee. The earring. He's got youth about him. The thick black beard. That's there. He's snarling a bit though. So that might change his face. I think there he looks a bit more like Thrall. From the side over here. There, as opposed to this. This looks more like a kind of a grunt face. The mount is perhaps a little bit too armored it almost outdoes Frawl's armor so i feel like that could be tied down just a little bit the bracelets are nice though i don't disagree with it though these eyes look really sad though blimey what's going on with his eyes and the hammer i think that's better isn't it the last time we saw the hammer it was almost just too ginormous and a lot of criticism was basically brought down upon that hammer but that hammer is going to bring it back on you because it looks more like a one-handed hammer but can still be swung two-handed style it might still be a bit too big for some people and i'm pretty sure you will say that but at the same time i think it's a good compromise right moving on to our last but not least fold gin oh my goodness so this looks completely different this is not the Shadow Hunter that we've seen. This is like a cross between the Shadow Hunter and the Witch Doctor. It's probably the Witch Doctor model 
It is the Witch Doctor model, actually, because originally Fulgin is... I'm just remembering now. I'm getting, like, flashbacks. When you play, I think, uh, To Tame a Land or something like that, the bonus campaign. Or it's in the original campaign. It's hard to tell because it's been many years since I played it. But I think Fulgin is technically uh, a, sh a, a, a Witch Doctor. So that's probably why he's modelled off this. But he's got his own flair, as you can see. He doesn't look anything like the Witch Doctor that we've seen from the new Reforged models. He's got a very different looking staff. He's got this thick red hair that looks very similar to a troll. My first troll that I made in World of Warcraft. The Mohawk. He looks grizzled, which he should do because he's the Elder. Very nice. I've got to say, I'm very pleased with these models. Very pleased. Very excited. Particularly the Grom one. Perhaps you guys might not have the same uh, enthusiasm for it. Um, you might think he's a bit too bulky. A bit too wide. But I freaking love how this guy looks. I just... Oh, there's so much detail. But it's good detail. This is what we want. They've gone a bit over the top on detail with some characters. And it's overshadowed the character themselves. But I feel like this does look like Grom. Like the hairstyle is perfect. The only thing that might not be right is the jaw being in stripes. However, I believe he had his entire bottom line tattooed originally. As Garrosh did to honour his father. That's why Garrosh has like a tattooed bottom jaw. But, you know... It is what it is. Can't have everything perfect. But nonetheless, these have been fantastic character models to look at. So I, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to smash that thumbs I hate saying that now. God damn it, I've become one of those YouTubers. Press the thumbs up button. I will probably still end up saying smash. But anyway, please press the thumbs up button. It helps a lot. I've seen you guys being very supportive. 500, 600 likes. It's really kind of you guys to do that. That does help a lot. Share the video with the Reddit or your friends, whoever you think would be interested in catching up on these models, and just have a fantastic time. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Warcraft 3 Reforged content coming up, and take care. Thank you so much, guys. All the best.